Hi guys, just uh, I want to share on the system that I show you guys. Um, I'm doing it here because I think it's easier uh, just to show my PC first at home. But basically, this is the library as you can see. Uh, it's very simple, right? So post Graphile, the whole idea is you define the schema, and from there he generates the routes for you automatically, right? So this is just the basic server file that you run, post Graphile Express. Now. Uh, this is just a basic script just to initialize the database with some basic data I'm running at index.sql So the key thing here is this right now. This is just a very simple SQL file, right? And uh, I got I got this from the examples that they have right so you got basically I'm defining a SQL database here This is basically I got a person a person has ID first name last name about created that Okay, so this is a person then in a person can make posts, you know, they are like author, they can make posts, right? So I define the schema for the post table. I got the author ID, the headline, the body, and that's it, right? And then uh, uh, you can do things like enums where you're like, okay, you know, as a post can be a discussion, inspiration type, whatever, you know. And finally, I come down here, I can create a bunch of functions. And functions are really just functions you can run in the back end, right? And this is basically all your SQL functions that you can create. Um, it is a bunch of SQL stuff that runs in the database where you can, you know, get the summary of the post. In this case, summary of a post involves you just running a bunch of select statements. It's really just SQL, all SQL code, right? So that's it to it. That's it to it. Now, when I run the system, firstly, I have a, I have a, I have a database running. Now, I initialize the, you know, I run the I run the init DB. There's no messages here, but I'm running this file. Then I run the server, right? Now I'm running the server, and as you can see, when I I go to this route because it's running on this route, uh, localhost three thousand, and you have to go to this route called GraphQL, Graphical actually. It's basically the visual route where you can see all the visuals. Now, if you notice straight away, when I come here, okay, this is my my, my all the queries and mutations. They're automatically generated in here, as you can see, right here, all generated. In this case, I have the ability to get all the people. So let me show you a mutation first, right? These are all the routes that were just created for me automatically by me defining this schema right here. So what sort of routes, you know, do you, what, what sort of routes are we talking about, right? So for example, if I want to create a person, and the thing with GraphQL is they have very nice autocomplete. So I got mutation, create a person. So you open this up. Control space bar just to see what the suggestions give you. Okay, I want to create a person. I takes an input, right? Now, what is goes in the input of this person? Okay, it takes a person data. And inside the person data, it takes the ID, first name, last name, about creator. So I take the first name, right? First name is James. Last name is Tan. And then uh, about... You know, it's uh, a good friend. And then finally, it's created that. Now, created that, I believe, is generated automatically. See, default now is created automatically, right? So I don't have to do created that if I wanted to, right? Then, when you run a GraphQL query, you can return some data, person, and you can return the ID, which is automatically generated, I believe, and last name. And when I do control enter, he creates someone automatically, right? If I run it, as you can see, it goes uh, ID2. Of course, I can choose like another, oh, where is he created at by? It's created at this date, right? ID2, ID3, ID4. So it's basically, I created six people already right here. I can run a query, get users. This is just some dummy text, yeah? So query, uh, no, let me see here. All people, all people. Now, I can put a condition if I want. I can just get simply, right? Simple, right? I can just get like the first 10 people, right? 10 people and return me the notes. Notes are like the, the different, what, what the values are, ID and then uh, first name, for example. And there you go. That's it, right? So I can create a bunch of people. I can uh, get the people. I can do some conditions if I want to as well. So conditions can be stuff like, you know, all people, right? And... Uh, I can set, for example, let me see a uh, condition. Um, let's say first name. Um, 
Uh, no, not this. First name. Uh, I'm also not sure how this one. First name. Let's see. So that's the power of um, GraphQL. There's automatic documentation for you. It's very, very nice. And it's, and it's all, uh, the API is all designed for you automatically here, right? Condition, person condition. First name. Checks for equality object first name field. Okay, so if I do first name is James. Okay. And I return it. There can be one operation, get users. Oh, I got two operations here. Got users. Call it get James. There you go. James appears because I set the first name condition to be James, right? If I create another person, I call it Randall. And I run this. Look, I got all James. I want Randall, right? Okay, Randall. R N D L. There you go. Randall's here, right there. Oops. And that's really it. That's the power of GraphQL. So they give you all these and look, these are all all the routes that you want to get, whether it's get a person, create a person. What about updating a person or deleting a person, right? Update there, you go update person by ID. You can see the documentation here as well, all done for you, right? Person patch, whatever is I can update him by the name, last name. If I want to delete a person, look, delete person's right here. So all the create reads, update deletes are already done for you. All the routes are specified here. Querying, you know, I want to query, get a user by their first name, last name. You got you got things like cursor based um, querying for pagination purposes. Because what if you got like one million people, right? I want to query the first ten people, the next ten people, next page, next page. You go by cursor. So these are all created for you automatically. I don't have to do a single thing. All I did was I specified this table, which has to be specified anyways. And from this structure here, the system can detect and figure out, oh, okay, this is an integer, not null, he references the person ID. So, so you, you'll need to know SQL, right? But once you know SQL, um, it's very easy because then the system can just determine, oh, you know, author ID is uh, referencing this table and uh, this table has a first name, last name. So they give you all the fields already. And to me, that's the benefit of... Um, Postgres, Postgraph field, right? This schema generation. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks.